when we found out that there's a large number of people, almost 10% of the village, the poorest 10%, were unable to access micro financial services from us because their group, their community people, would not include them, we felt that we needed to uh, design a separate program for them. And that is the ultra poor program. Instead of giving a loan to buy a cow, we give a cow so that they don't have to repay the loan. So at least a, 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 an asset which can give them some income. So that was the first idea of not giving a loan but giving a grant. But then we felt that just giving a grant is not enough. They also need a stipend, a monthly income so that while the cow is not producing enough milk, they still have some income to fall, fall back on. And then we also wanted their children to go to school. So we didn't want their, their poverty to uh, produce another generation of poor children. So we wanted to go to school, them to send them to school. That was one of the conditions that you must send your child to school. And the third thing was that we wanted also for, for them to uh, be trained properly to be able to get the best out of the asset that they have chosen to receive. It can, can be a cow, it could be a lease of a land in which they could grow vegetables, so we would train them for that. So there was training, hand-holding, giving them advice, counseling, hope, confidence, all these things were done by our staff by weekly visits to them. So these were added uh, to the program. And the fourth thing that we added was a group of people in the village itself, uh, well-to-do people, teachers, business people, and one of our staff would be in the, in the, in the uh, what we called Poverty Alleviation Committee, who would help them. Weekly visits by our staff was very important because that sort of kept them continuously in tune with what they were supposed to do. And, and they, uh, it, so it's a kind of a, this was important, important input, I thought. Uh, it's not just the, the uh, asset which was transferred, but continuous uh, consultation, advice, counseling, and confidence building that was going on all the time, that was very important. Well, I think that no program can be a, a silver, nothing a silver bullet in the sense that in development there are so many things that, that can go wrong and not everything works in every circumstance. So, uh, so in, in one country it may work quite well, in another country it may need a little bit of adaptation. So, so they are not silver bullet, it has to be adapted to each country's context. Um, and I hope that, uh, that people who are implementing this type of program in their own countries will, of course, study their own uh, successes and, and, and learn from dynamics of change that is happening and make necessary changes to make it success.